And, you know, I, I want to kind of compare it to having a baby. You know, the most difficult years, uh, time of, the, of having a baby is those uh, first few months when, you know, uh, you, you, you don't have time for yourself, you, you don't know, you, you can't sleep, uh, the baby gets sick, you need to be up at uh, um, early hours of the morning and you still need to put in a shift at the office. And that was what all Africa was for us. And I remember having many, many meetings. Some of them, uh, I remember vividly one of the meetings that we had at, I think it was nine o'clock on a Saturday morning in my office with, uh, uh, I call him MMT, uh, with Topewa. Um, and really, those were some of the conversations that actually laid the foundation for what we see today. And all I can say is that I'm immensely proud, and I think I spoke, speak on behalf of everyone that's, that's at NDTC and that's been associated with the program uh, um, of All Africa to say that I'm immensely proud to witness a day like this. We have come a long way. We have come a long way. And you know, as I was sitting there, I was reflecting to say, to say that a lot of us only see, see the end product, right? So if you think about success, a lot of us only see the end. But where the appreciation, the learning, the growth happens is in the journey. And it's been a rewarding journey, challenging but rewarding journey. And today we can sit here and we celebrate and we acknowledge, but I think we need to acknowledge and give credit where it's due to the pioneers of this program. And when I say pioneers, it's important to understand it's a partnership. It's collaboration. That the Daniel talked about how proud he was also uh, and, 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 uh, and the ministry uh, to be part of this. There's, I don't know if we have a representative from Cassia. Uh, uh, I think everybody played a role in terms of making it what it is today. Certainly for NDTC, Olafiga is a flagship. And what I mean by and what I mean by flagship is it speaks to what we stand as an organization. Our philosophy and our belief is that a corporate such as NDTC cannot talk about it being successful if it doesn't contribute to creating a thriving community. We cannot be part of a community and say we are a successful business if we don't understand the challenges that that community is facing and if we don't understand what our role needs to be in terms of closing those gaps. And ours is a small contribution. I'm not going to tell you how much money we, we contribute and what, it, what the sponsorship is, but that's irrelevant. It's about how do we uh, create an environment so that all the role players that need to play a role actually contribute to creating an ecosystem that will allow you to thrive as, as entrepreneurs and as businesses in Namibia. That's our small role and we are proud of that role and we'll continue to play that role in whatever form it is. I think it is, uh, I don't know how many times I've done this before, uh, previously, but you know, in, tr in the true sense of continuous improvement, I always, it's important for us to acknowledge the, the journey that we've traveled, the successes that we've achieved, but it's also important to reflect on what is it that we can do better. So maybe before I speak to the alumni, and I think that Daniel did an amazing, amazing, please give him another round of applause. In, 
in, in, in, in speaking to the graduates and giving them wonderful, wonderful nuggets that I think even us that have been part of the corporate world for a while can take away and think about how do we apply that in our businesses uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm not going to dwell too much on it. I've got a few words for you. But I think what I want to talk about today really is how do we evolve on Africa? And we have this conversation every day, and every day I put down a challenge. No, not every day, my apologies. Every year I put down a challenge to, um, to, to the All Africa team to say, we need to think about what the next horizon looks like. My, my experience with All Africa, like anything else has been, you know, we think we've come to this place, we've climbed this hill, when you get to the top of that hill, you realize there are five other hills that you need to climb. And I think when I look at the program, it has been impactful. Uh, it has changed people's lives. And I'm not just talking about business owners and entrepreneurs. It's the people that they work with, the employees, the communities that they operate in. We have seen that impact. But the world around us is changing. You know, that Daniel set out 12 um, key areas, and he put it so eloquently to say, where money hides, right? <laughs> but I think we must also understand that we are in the, in, the, in the job of providing solutions. The services and the products that you, your businesses come up with and put out there and sell, market and sell, are aimed at solving problems and whose problems are those solving it's solving the problems of your communities it's solving the problems of the country so i think what we need to think about is how are we evolving that in the context of social entrepreneurship right what is it that we do are we waking up one day and saying i'm going to develop this product or service because I love it? Or are we asking our question to say, what are the needs and wants of our communities? What are the needs of wants of this economy and how do we solve those? Because what that does is it puts the end in mind and then we can start thinking about what are the things that we need to do to get there. So the tools and the, and, the, and the kids that have been shared, the knowledge and the skills that you've been able to pick up should be geared towards solving those problems. Because those are the people that will ensure your sustainability. The minute you solve the problem of the community that you operate in and serve, that ensures your sustainability, the sustainability of your business. Topia talked, I mean, I've been at many of her talks. She talks about how do we make sure that as a business owner, the day that I'm no longer there, my business continues? The only way that you can do that is to be able to create an environment where you solve problems sustainably. And it doesn't matter who comes, whether it's your team when you are no longer there, the team uh, carries on with it, or your kids, or your, what is the legacy that you're living in terms of that? And that's a really important consideration. The other key component is we must understand the consumer is key, right? And I, I don't need to tell you this. I'm sure anybody that runs a, a successful business will understand that the consumer is key. And the consumer, consumer's needs and wants are changing. So even when we talk about social entrepreneurship, it's not about solving the problems of the community, just about solving the problems of the community. The consumer is starting to ask to say, okay, you are charging $100 for this product. How is this, how is this product being, being produced? Where are you getting the materials? From which communities are you getting that? Are you getting it out of the ground and leaving a big hole? Are you destroying our, our planet? Those are important conversations. So the challenge I'm putting to the Olafika team is, as we progress and as we develop the next iteration of, of, the, of, of the program, how do we build those components in there? Because 
in addition to everything that has been shared uh, in, 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 in your, in your, um, uh, during the course, everything that all of, the sh all of these experienced and skillful uh, speakers have shared with you, there's also how do we, what are the components that we need to build on it so that we make you competitive. And not just make you competitive from a Namibian perspective, but from a global perspective. The way that you market your product and service is totally different. I'm sure all of you here are using platforms like Instagram, whatever social media to market uh, your, your, your products and services. These are things that were not there five, ten years ago. But what it also does is it opens up a global market for you. So your market is no longer just Namibia. You are now talking about accessing the global market. And the question is, are we preparing the graduates, the cohorts, to take advantage of those opportunities? So I'm looking at the team and saying, let's think about how do we adjust the program? How do we change the program? What is it that we need to add onto the program so that we can equip uh, Namibian entrepreneurs to start thinking about solutions that are impactful, that are sustainable, and that speaks not just to their communities, their regions, their country, but to the, to the, to the world at large. That is the challenge that I'm putting down today. And I think for the graduates, so, so um, I'm sure we'll engage more. Uh, with the Walafika team to think about how can we uh, try and help facilitate it and how can we support the program in being relevant and being impactful um, uh, more than what it has been so far. Uh, because that's, that's what it is at the end of the day. To the graduates, today is your day. Today is your day. Let no one take this day away from you. Why? Because you put in the hard work. You put in the sweat. Commitment. Navigating challenges. To get to where we are today. And let today be the, the first day of, that, of your journey. To having successful, sustainable businesses that make an impact, that changes the trajectory of this country, that changes the trajectory of, your, of the communities that you come from, that changes the trajectory of your families and create opportunities, not just for yourselves, but for the ones that are, that are close to you. We are immensely proud of you. It's, um, you know, there comes a point in your life where you, you, you no longer have or need somebody to push you to say, get up and do this. Get up, get ready, go to school, put on a uniform, do this, what, what. what. And when, it, when we come to that point, we've got two choices, one of two choices. Either we motivate ourselves and do what we need to do to push through or we fall by the wayside. You've made that choice to say, this is what I want to do. This is my passion. This is my God-given talent. How do I make sure that I multiply this talent? That's the choice that you have made. And that is the first choice. All of this would not have happened if you did not make that choice. And for that, we acknowledge you, we appreciate you, and we say that we're proud of you. So, well done to everybody. Um, I think on behalf of everybody at NDTC, again, and uh, of the Africa program, we wish you nothing but success. We wish you nothing but milestone upon milestone in your, in your businesses, in your personal lives. And we look forward to having you sit on the other side um, when we look at the next cohort for next year. So 
come in, uh, be part of the alumni, create that network, support each other, support those that are coming up. Because this is a collaboration. It's about working together to create for greater good. So with those words, uh, thank you, Director of Ceremonies. And um, uh, I don't know uh,